हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल दिस इज शिवानी हेयर वेलकम टू माय चैनल शिवानी क्रिएशंस माय टुडेस प्रोजेक्ट इज हाउ टू क्रिएट दिस वंडरफुल गिफ्ट बॉक्स इन द पियानो शेप एंड दिस इज लुकिंग वेरी वेरी गॉर्जियस विद द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ब्लैक रेड एंड वाइट एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली द ईजल कार्ड कम गिफ्ट बॉक्स यू कैन जस्ट स्टैंड द ईजल लाइक दिस टू लुक्स लाइक अ पियानो एंड यू कैन सिंपली स्लाइड द बॉक्स बिटवीन दिस to add any gifts i have added lots of chocolates to gift it to my dearest friend on her birthday and it's looking very very rich and royal isn't it so i will share how to create the base box how to create card how to decorate this and along with the quilling flowers so without any further delay let's start with the procedure Here I am taking black card stock, which measures twenty one by twelve centimeters. I have just folded this into half like this, burnish it very well, and again folding the top flap into half. So the easel base is ready, super duper easy. The card is having three hundred gsm thickness. Now I am taking one more card stock, which is twelve by ten point five centimeters, and from one corner I am just cutting one small curve to. give it a look of the piano and then i am just sticking it on this folded flap like this so it will stand like this with the easel now i'm decorating the front part using some golden color uh, mirror card stock strips some of them i am adding in a uh, horizontal direction then also decorating some golden color dots here and there this time i am not using any pattern paper i am creating my own pattern paper and then just to highlight the piano shape little more i am taking one maroon color card stock which i am going to stick it on back side like this so when you will close the card it will highlight the piano shape little more so our easel card is ready now it's time to make the box so for this i'm taking this brown color card stock which is 17.5 by 16 cm and from all four sides i have creased at 3 cm now just folding all the creases burnishing it very well chopping four corners and constructing the box box is ready then to create the slider mechanism here i am taking the sheet which is 31.4 by 10.5 cm i have just joined two sheets together and now creased at 12 15.2 27.2 and 30.4 cm 
I have already folded all the creases and burnished it very well. Now I'm just joining the front and last flaps together to construct the slider. Now I'm just taking back my box and checking. Yes, it's perfectly sliding from our window and this is done. Then I'm decorating this from inner part using gold mirror cardstock and some maroon strips. From inner side and outer side. like this it will give the strength also for our box and also I have decorated the slider from both the sides using maroon cardstock so the box with the slider is completely ready now it's time to make our piano for this I am taking this white color cardstock which is 12 by 5 centimeters and on each 1.5 centimeters I have created some markings so I'm just joining these markings and creating some vertical lines. Then I'm just doubling each vertical line. creating little curved pattern in the bottom and filling these lines using black marker along with the curved pattern in the bottom. And this is ready. So the base keys are ready. Now to create black keys, I am taking black strip which is 3 by 1 centimeters. Again, I'm chopping the bottom corners in a curved pattern. Similarly, I have prepared some more. Now it's time to arrange the black keys on top of the white keys. And the super cute piano is ready. Now to give a little dimension to this, I am adding some pieces of mount board on back side of this. So that it will also work like an easel support. And uh, you can also use double sided foam tape to give the dimension. Now just checking that it is looking nice or not. Yeah, it's looking perfect. Then I am just going to take back my card and sticking it on top of the box And then just sticking my piano keys. Mm -hmm. 
and this is ready the base card is ready and it's already looking royal now i'm just decorating the slider box from bottom using this beautiful border die by dress my craft this is the half daisy die but you can use any kind of border designs whichever you have i'm using your gold mirror cardstock and black cardstock to create the border just to match with the card and already i have added the border on remaining sides now it's time to make the quilling rows for this i am taking half strip of maroon color in 3mm and creating one tight teardrop shape then i am taking one strip of dark red color and creating the tight teardrop shape then taking one and half strip of light red color and creating the tight teardrop shape Now taking my quilling mold and shaping all the shapes in a dome adding glue inside each petal So similarly we need Three maroon, four to five medium, and five to six light red color petals. Now I'm just combining all the petals together and creating the rose shapes. So starting with the maroon petals, then I will add the row of dark red and then the medium red color petals. and the rose is ready very pretty and i have already prepared one big size rose with the same method and now it's time to create the leaves for the rose for this i am taking 1/4 strip of sap green color and 1/8 strip of dark sap green color and creating one bended leaf shape Similarly I have prepared one more so just joining both the petals together and wrapping it using dark sap green color strip so the leaf is ready I am going to join three petals together to create one complete rose leaf and this is done in the same way I have prepared one more leaf and also i have created some scrolls using light green and dark green color combination then taking back my card and it's time to decorate it using handmade flowers and leaves i have created these yellow color flowers using four petals these are simple tight teardrop shapes also adding these two red color tight coils for the filler and then in the bottom i am adding one more leaf and rose i like to dry completely and then it's time to add the sentiment that is with love I have just written this on white cardstock using brush pen like this and then I am putting some chocolates inside the box you can also put any kind of gift like watch or earrings bangles wallet anything inside this in this way you can create this royal looking piano gift box for your nearer and dearer ones in any occasion 
सो दैट्स इट फॉर टुडे होप यू एंजॉय माई वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियोज एंड प्लीज प्लीज क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन फॉर द लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स एंड नोटिफिकेशन आई एम ईगरली वेटिंग फॉर योर कमेंट्स थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग सी यू नेक्स्ट टाइम बाय